Warning, some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome everybody to a new Borrow Talks. It's another top 10 and we're going to be talking about the most, in my opinion, horrible and uh, very disgusting uh, diseases and infections. For those who are a bit faint-hearted, I suggest you actually look away. I haven't uh, put this as age-restrictive, although I should have done. So we're going to start off straight away with our top 10. Number 10. The Marburg Hemorrhagic Fever. In 1967, in a town called Marburg, in Germany, there was an outbreak um, after some researchers uh, in their lab were testing some stuff out and uh, it spread a bit through the workers uh, and uh, families and friends and all that and um, nowadays we don't really see it's pretty much eradicated uh, but you can um, see that not that long ago there was an outbreak in Africa so um, you just uh, be wary that's all this disease originates from the African fruit bat uh, it can be transmitted of course to humans um, and there aren't that many treatments, they just need to uh, prevent it. The symptoms are really devastating. Um, there's blood dripping from your mouth, for example, uh, nausea and a uh, really high mortality rate. Imagine uh, it's the same situation as a contagion. It's almost the same uh, sort of story. And uh, so it's very dangerous and very horrible to look at. So that's why uh, it's number 10. Number nine is Cancrum oris. Cancrum oris, or commonly known as Noma, um, it destroys the tissue and all the facial structure uh, around the jaws and um, your mouth and all that. It's a despicable disease. Um, what happens is if you're infected, you can. This is usually in the poorer countries, and it's certainly in Africa. Um, if infected, uh, you'll just see that you're your skull, your jaw will just be visible since all the, all your skin, all the muscles will be eaten by this sort of bacteria. The bacteria doesn't actually eat the skin to, per se, it just um, um, dissolves uh, the certain um, molecules here and there and then, then the skin just, uh, just fades away to leave a bloody mess. Number eight. Brainerd diarrhea. Whilst this is not really gory, uh, the problem is this can actually be life-threatening. I think there's been a few deaths due to the Brainerd diarrhea. It's like normal diarrhea, but it's, it's explosive, and uh, you basically have to go to the loo like maybe 20 times a day. So you have to be constantly eating and drinking, otherwise you die of uh, dehydration or starvation. So while it maybe looks a bit funny, it must be really horrible to get this. And the scary thing about this all is that the scientists actually don't know how the hell people contract this disease. And um, they don't know if it's a bacteria or a chemical compound. They don't know yet, so the treatment is a bit difficult. It takes for about two years to get rid of it. <laughs> so um, I'm telling you, that really fucks up your life. And now, number seven, lymphatic filariasis. This is also called elephant teriasis. And so what happens is that there's um, uh, your your legs, your arms, any body parts would just like blow up suddenly and um, from a young age, really. So uh, this disease is commonly uh, in Africa. I'm sorry, it's just like that. And what it is, it comes, it generates from worms, these tiny little worms that go into the into our bloodstream that uh, mess mess it all up, and then um, but you can't really eradicate the worms. And these worms are um, transmitted from uh, mosquitoes, microscopic sons of bitches, and to get rid of them is pretty hard. But I think they're putting vaccines and uh, therapy into place more and more. So maybe one day this uh, sort of horrible uh, disease will um, just fade away. Number six, scabies mite. Scabies is a skin condition um, caused by um, the scabies mite. It's a human itch mite, and uh, it is also called the Sarcoptes scabiae. These microscopic mites uh, burrow into your skin, and they can cause uh, rashes, inflammation, and itching. 
Unfortunately, anyone can get scabies, uh, no one is uh, protected from it. It can be transmitted from uh, one person to the other with uh, close skin contact, uh, ruffle of the hair, handshake, anything. So they're pretty easy to eradicate if you know you've got some. It is possible, it, it is reported that um, at times the itching is so intense for patients, for victims of these uh, little buggers, um, that they can't even sleep at night. So uh, some have had some pretty horrible uh, experiences with the scabbies. And as you can see, you can have these sort of like really scaly, really horrible um, uh, traces onto your hands, onto your arms and legs. Uh, so uh, it takes maybe up to um, a month or so to get rid of it completely. So you need to treat that as quick as possible because otherwise the consequence will be scarring. Number five, Sitmophia exigua. The tongue-eating louse, it is an isopod and what it does, it uh, passes into the gills of the fish, goes all, up, or goes all up the fish's system and it actually comes back into the fish's mouth and replaces it. He um, eats away the, at the tongue and then he becomes, he sort of becomes the tongue. So you got the fish like this and then you've got this um, this isopod, this this motherfucking louse just here like that. And what he does is when the fish wants to eat, he takes like 75, I think 75% of uh, the food and then leaves the rest for the fish to to move around. So it's almost like he's not really brainwashing him, but he's basically stealing all his food. And as soon as this fish dies out, he uh, leaves and uh, tries uh, to find uh, another fish uh, to um, indirectly kill. Number four is the paralysis tick or the Ixodus hysoclus. So what this does is um, it just latches on to your skin, uh, it digs in pretty deep, and it uh, it steals your your soul. Now, just kidding. It steals your blood, and um, <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. What it does is it, it just um, fills itself up with all your blood, and then it actually just pretty much dies eating, which isn't that bad. But for us, it can um, it can transmit some other diseases, uh, viruses, all that, and it's pretty pretty gruesome. So this tick just like. Claws in, choop, sticks its teeth, teeth in. It sucks up some blood, and as soon as it has uh, enough blood, it just uh, dies from uh, overconsumation of blood. Not very cheerful. Number three, the the African trypanosomiasis. Not hard to say at all. Uh, this is also commonly known as the sleeping sickness. Um, anyone can contract it, and uh, no one is immune to it, of course. This is again another disease that can be transmitted by mosquitoes. And uh, what happens is this is uh, this parasite goes into your blood and just uh, fucks everything up. Uh, you're pretty much gonna die. I'm sorry to say that, but that is the case. Um, what happens is. Um, they completely destroy your uh, immunity system and uh, you know when you sleep you don't realize uh, you need to breathe you just do it um, sort of subconsciously I don't know um, your body knows how to react when you're sleeping you, you just breathe normally but now uh, due to this um, intervention of this parasite you can't sleep and breathe at the same time there's a, there's a problem somewhere and you just will die due to, due to that. So yes, number two is the screw worm fly. Those who are easily um, disgusted by anything, please look away because this is going to get a bit gruesome. So um, this fly plants its uh, its eggs um, into um, into wounds for on animals, maybe even humans. This can happen. It's a bit like the the butt fly larva. And um, these these eggs finally hatch, and uh, these maggots will like dig into your skin, and then they'll come out uh, a few months later as flies. So yeah, this is pretty horrible because um, if you get this near your your brain, near your head, they'll just dig in and uh, destroy your 
your nervous system and you'll die on the spot. This is usually seen in animals like sheep, cows and all that, but it has happened to humans before who have gone to Peru and uh, overseas uh, in dangerous little places. So yeah, very horrible indeed. And finally number one is a mobia. So th this is caused by the neglery flowery, something like that. It's a fungus that you can find in, uh, I think in America it's possible. Um, and this fungus is usually found in, uh, in lakes, in ponds that are pretty disgusting. And if you, uh, for example, uh, um, inhale some, some dirty water or what, what, what not, there's a pretty high risk that you can contract this disease. And this Amoria is um, flesh-eating and it can eat your brain. Yeah. It goes up your nose, like this, and uh, it will just like expand all around your brain, and it'll just keep on, keep on eating at it until you eventually die. And uh, there is no way to cure this at the moment, because, well, how can you actually get rid of fungus in your brain? Yeah. But there is a way of preventing it, by not going into the water that is completely disgusting and that has a high potential risk of fungus. Or I think there's maybe some uh, antibiotics or something, but very, uh, very intriguing. Imagine just getting your brain eaten alive and you can't do anything about it. I wouldn't want to be in that situation. No. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I hope this won't get flagged as too gruesome or whatever. Anyway, um, please share the video, leave a like, also share the Borrow community, I'm trying to get this channel to those 1,000 uh, subs. You know, I know making diverse content and uh, that's what counts. It's fun for me, I hope it's fun for you watching. I'm Borrow XR and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! A first shout out goes to Trap Vision. He mostly does uh, Black Ops 2 um, videos, um, but there's some really good content. So check out his channel, and secondly, uh, go check out um, X Banana Counter Strike Go. He does intros for the guys, so maybe he can help you out. Um, otherwise, um, have a good day, and bye.